Did someone turn down the AC? Or is it getting a little icy in here? Speak for yourself. I'm always icy. Good morning, contestants! I hope you're well-rested because today's challenge is taking you out of your comfort zone. We're going to see how well you can work with anyone, even the competition. It's a Shadow High Rainbow High group mix-up! Rex, Michelle, Chanel, Olivia, Ainsley, and Skylar, you're on Team 1. Monique, Avery, Victoria, Carla, Glitch, and Priscilla, Team 2. The inspiration for today's challenge is our version of the color wheel. Your challenge today is to interpret this color wheel and decide how it translates into a new design. I'll be using this spinner in the weeks to come to determine challenges. For today, Delfina will be modeling for Team 1. Francesca Da Silva will be modeling for Team 2. You have till 6 tonight to create an amazing, cohesive outfit that wows me and a special guest judge to be revealed at runway. Oh, and one more twist. For this challenge, Carla has immunity. I am so relieved. I have so much homework to do. What good would winning Project Rainbow be if I flunk out of Shadow High? This team is never gonna work. Come on, we can do this. We just need to trust each other. And how's that gonna happen? I have an idea. Trust fall. <laughs> See? I trust you all now. Hilarious. My turn. Trust fall. <laughs> 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 well, what do you say? Ready to work? I'm telling you, a rainbow ball gown is the way to go. Rainbow schmambo. I'm game for a gown, but what about all white? The absence of color. Or all black. All the colors. A circle also means infinity. There's definitely something there with the shape. What about the circle of life? I love Ooh, that. Genius. Wow. So what do you have in mind? Two words, Poppy Rowan. I'm obsessed with Poppy Rowan's butterfly dress. Butterflies represent the circle of life, going from caterpillars to larvae to butterflies. So I have a twisted idea for a dress. Team One is gonna smash this challenge. So we're set on using as many colors as we can in the design. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the more colors, the merrier. But there are an infinite number of colors on the color wheel. How are we gonna decide? Actually, there are 18 decillion colors. That's 18 with 33 zeros. Oh, let's create an almost infinite number of ever evolving circles, like spring coils. We should make a spring coil gown. I don't hate it. <laughs> Me neither. We're agreed. Let's get to work. Ooh, do my eyes deceive me? Or is team one weaving lace? Bob and lace. We have an amazing idea for this dress. Rex had the amazing idea. Bob and lace is one of the faster ways to weave, but time is running short. Will you be able to finish? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Easy. Great, good luck. Easy? Ah, I've been working for hours and I have one inch of this dress done. We'll all pitch in. Everyone, grab a spool and let's get weaving. Wow, team two is working fast. Our dress is gonna be covered in bouncy, colorful spring coils. <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but we're having fun with the project. <laughs> well, fun does make it sound like you're working well together. I'm interested to see the finished product. Flat. I'm trying. <laughs> we have time to make a few adjustments. Not too many. Delfina, arms down. I'm trying. Ah. Uh, I'm almost out of thread. I've got you. Catch. Last hem. Last butterfly. We're gonna make it. Sewing needles down, everyone. Time's up. We <laughs> <laughs> did it. Please welcome makeup artist and your friend, Lilac Lane. Let's see what you've got.
have immunity. You all embrace the camaraderie this challenge. Well done! But Team One's dark butterfly dress truly soared. It showed unity between schools and was downright gorgeous. Rex, congratulations, you are the winner. Team Two, who took the lead on this outfit? I did. I'm proud of the design. It had potential, but you failed to make it wearable. But, but, wasn't it fun? I'm sorry, Priscilla. Grab your backpack and return to class. Priscilla! This isn't fair! <sighs> well, I hate that someone from our team had to go home. But at least it was a rainbow high kid. You would say that, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know me so well, Avery. <laughs> You know what, Glitch? The feeling is mutual. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like Mission Get the Teams to Work Together is accomplished. Well done, Shadow High. And Rainbow High. Join us next time on... Project, Project Rainbow! today's challenges. I feel like there's gonna be a twist. There's always a twist. Welcome back to Project Rainbow! You all survived another challenge, which is so amazing! But you still have to measure up to your competitors in this next challenge to stay in the contest. And now put your hands together for Maria, Maria Garcia! Garcia! Hello, hello! Are you ready for another challenge? <laughs> well, today's task is being decided by a spin of our color wheel. <laughs> this week's challenge will have you doing a double take because it's our deja vu challenge. Each group will reuse the materials you used in the first competition to create new formal garments. Told ya! Twist! For this challenge, Rainbow High's leader will be... Michelle. And Shadow High, your leader will be... Glitch! Okay! You'll have until the end of the day to give your first looks materials a second chance. What are you waiting for? Go, go, go! So, I checked with Maria, and we can only use our accessory material since that was our official first challenge. But how are we supposed to reuse a bit of leather, wire, and beads to make an entire formal look? If anyone can, it's us. You know, if you layer beads just right, they look like scales. Chainmail. Oh, I've made chainmail costumes before. What if we made a sort of jewel mail dress? Love it! Let's get to work! I was going for a trendy party dress. It feels so casual and droopy. And I'm not a fan of repeating ourselves. What if we did ditch the party dress and went full ball gown? And we could use the droop to our advantage and have it spill onto the ground into a dramatic train. It could really cast a shadow on the competition. A sweatshirt gown is a good idea in theory, but this has no pop. Your model will look like she's wearing a couture blanket. We'll figure out a fix. Make sure it says something about you. Jersey knit is active wear material. How are we supposed to elevate that? Our dress has to send a message. So how about we literally embroider something bold on it? Oh, yeah. What about... Uh, huh. Or... Maybe. <gasps> yes! Love it! To the Project Rainbow sewing machine! I love the jewel mail, but I'm concerned the overall look is a little... costumey. I love the idea, but make sure it says runway, not school play. Noted. Thanks. Well, she said she loved it. 
except everything about it. Revision is a part of the process. Let's lose the headdress, and maybe we add a train to save the wow factor. Ugh, it's jammed. Useless machine. It's not the machine's fault. We're jamming 10 yards of stretchy fabric into it. Everyone knows it's usually the losing team's leader who gets cut. I'll do whatever it takes to win. Hmm. Where's the rest of our beads? We had a whole bag. And we can't finish the train without them. And we're running out of time. Hey, Glitch, have you seen our beads anywhere? Uh, who? Me? <laughs> Haven't seen them. Uh... Uh-huh. get there. <laughs> Just let it go. We got this. So I spilled the beads. Cheating is the worst kind of basic. Needles down, people! It's finally runway time! away by both teams' recycling, reinvention, and dramatic trains. But there is the issue of cheating. Project Rainbow is about craft and class, not sabotage. The best way to compete is by stepping up your own game, not tripping up your competition. For that reason, the person going back to class is Glitch. I'm sorry, I, I, I felt stuck and... <sighs> I made the worst choice possible. Thanks for owning up to your bad decision, and hopefully this is a lesson you'll never have to repeat. I'm really sorry. Oh, see ya. Now, for your boldness in keeping things honest, Michelle and Rex, you both win immunity next week. Congratulations to you all for making it this far. But now, everyone is going to have to pack their bags because you're all going to Malibu! Oh, yes! <laughs> Malibu? Now that's the kind of twist I love! That's all we have time for today! But you should totally join us for our next Project Rainbow Challenge in sunny 